The turtle soup indicator is part of the ICT style strategy, which is available on various platforms on the Trading Finder site. From this section, you can access this indicator on the Trading View site. To access this indicator, search for its name and select it. For quicker access, add it to favorites. To access this indicator on the TradingView site, we search for the name of the indicator in the Indicators section and apply it to the chart by selecting it. For quicker and easier access to this indicator, you can add it to your favorites by enabling the Add to Favorite option. Once the indicator is applied to the chart, it will start drawing. For faster and easier access to this indicator, add it to your indicators by activating the Add to Favorites option. The indicator should start drawing when it is placed on the chart. Liquidity ranges are drawn on the price chart. For example, here the price is making lower highs and lower lows, and in this section, we have identified a liquidity sweep that is for a higher time frame. After that, the price moves upward after gathering liquidity and breaks this level upward. When this level is broken upward, a signal is displayed on the chart to inform the trader that an MSS or market shift striker level has been broken. In the previous section, a fair value gap was also identified, which is drawn for us with a blue box. A signal is displayed on the chart to inform the trader that an MSS or market shift striker level has been broken. FWG identified MSS up by trade possible price rows input options select higher time frame levels from current to tick seconds minutes hours weekly monthly MSS broke upward price returned to FWG limit by trade possible price moved up settings offer input options select time frames current tick seconds minutes hours weekly monthly choose swing period default 50 higher values for longer swings lower for shorter Options are available. Select higher time frame levels, current chart, tick, seconds, minutes, hours, weekly, monthly, choose a swing period, default 50. Higher values identify longer term swings, lower values identify shorter term swings. Select max swing back, all or custom, default all. For custom, choose max swing back, default 100, adjustable. Select FVG length, default 120. In the next section, you can select the swing period which is set to 50 by default. The higher you set this value, the longer term swings will be identified. And the lower you set it, the shorter term swings will be identified. In the lower section, you can select the max swing back, which has two options, all and custom. By default, it is set to all. If you choose the custom option, you can select the max swing back in the lower section, which is set to 100 by default, and you can adjust this value to be higher or lower. In the next section, you can select the length of the FVG, which is set to 120 by default. These are based on the candles. In the next section, the length of the MSS is set, which is set to 80 by default, and you can increase or decrease this value. These are based on the candles. In the next section, the length of the MSS is set, which is set to 80 by default, and you can increase or decrease this value. In the next section, you can enable or disable the FWG filter. When you enable this option, four modes become available. Very aggressive, aggressive, defensive, and very defensive. By selecting the very aggressive option, for identifying bullish FVGs, the maximum price of the last candle must be greater than the maximum price of the middle candle. For identifying bearish FVGs, the minimum price of the last candle must be less than the minimum price of the middle candle. If you select the aggressive option, in addition to the very aggressive conditions, the size of the middle candle should not be small, and in this case, a larger number of FVGs will be identified. Defensive is default. Very aggressive needs a large middle candle. In addition to the very aggressive conditions, the size of the middle candle must be large and primarily composed of its body. For identifying bullish FVGs, the second and bullish candles must be bullish. And for identifying bearish FVGs, the second and bullish candles must be bearish. In this case, a larger number of FVGs are filtered out, and only higher quality FVGs remain compared to the previous two modes. 
and the last part is very defensive, whereby selecting this option. In addition to the defensive conditions, the first and third candles should not be small candles with very small bodies, like, um, doji candles. In this case, a larger number of FVGs are filtered out, and only the highest quality FVGs remain. In the next section, you can determine the mitigation level FVG, which has three levels proximal, 50% OB, and distal. By selecting the proximal option, the closest FVG level to the price is considered, and when the price hits this level, the FVG is cleared or identified as mitigation. In the next section, select the 50% OB option. Consider the 50% FWG level. When price hits the 50% FWG, it marks the FWG limit. Invalid, select the distal option. Consider the furthest FVG level. And when price reaches the distal level, full FVG consumption marks the FVG range invalid. Switch the FVG request display and choose its color. It considers the farthest FVG level from the price. And when the price moves and reaches the distal level, meaning that the entire FVG range is consumed. It identifies the FVG range as invalidated or mitigated. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the FVG request. You can choose its color. You can enable or disable the FVG of currencies. You can change its color. In the next section, you can simply enable or disable the display of all higher time frames. Toggle higher time frames and MSS. Set colors for names and lines. Decide on showing higher time frame low. If MSS is off, only the last shows. Choose the color for its name. Choose the color of its line. You can choose the higher time frame low to be displayed. You can choose the color of its name. You can choose the color of its risk. In the last section, you can enable or disable the display of all MSS or market shift structures. If you disable this option, only the last MSS will be shown. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of MSS, choose the color for its name, and select the color for its line. In the next section, you can also enable or disable the display of MSS low, choose its color, and select the color for its line. After that, click the confirm button. Here, we have applied the settings that disabled these sections for us. Well friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would love to hear your comments and suggestions in the comment section. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of MSS low, choose its color, and select the color of its line. After that, click the confirm button. Here, we have applied the settings that disabled these sections for us. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would love to hear your comments and suggestions in the comment section. We would be very happy to hear your comments and suggestions in the comments section.